Okay, so this is the next little video in this little simple digital illustration. So what I'm going to do in this one is start my black layer. Um, again, I've already established that I've got a gray layer that kind of covers over so I can see where my marks are being made. And I also have an image to kind of give me a little base. But again, I'm on the black layer. I want to make sure that my color is black. And now I'm going to go choose a brush. Remember, you should see over here, it says brush. Um, so again, I can do it with where it's just a straight little single line. I can do it where the edges are a little bit soft and smudged. Again, I have a more natural object. So what I'm gonna do is use some of the calligraphy brushes because I'm using a mouse and I want to kind of play with the angle a little bit. So I want it to appear a little bit more kind of like a pencil mark. So I'm adjusting the angle a little bit. Again, play around, find kind of what you like. Some like a little bit more, some like a little less, some like to do regular brushes. Again, this is yours to experiment. Um, I can adjust the size up here, or again, I have the bracket tools that I can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do is zoom in, so it does make it easier. And again, this object is a little bit more flowing. So as I do this, I kind of want to keep with the flow of the object. So as I do this, I'm not too overly concerned if I make little mistakes. So again, I want to kind of lay out a basic kind of starting point. If you don't like what you did, remember, you can always come over here, go to your history and go back. For this one, I may want to start with a little bit smaller kind of mark. And again, if you want to, you can always, again, zoom in tighter, even down to the pixel if you want. One thing I will say is play with variety. So like for this one, again, I want to put some thick lines in, but also because I have these nice wispy veins of feather, do want to use a little bit thinner line every once in a while. One thing I would say to be very cautious of and watch is watch kind of the structure of your element. It will kind of show you how it should be drawn in terms of line direction. And again, you don't have to follow the element exactly. The goal is again to make this yours but you do want to kind of play around and at least observe the structure of the object. So again, this is how I'm kind of laying out the black layer. Again, right now I'm not too worried. So again, I can always go back in and fix things I want to. Or remember you do have your eraser tool if you need to eliminate something. But again, right now, the basic idea is just to put down some marks so you have a starting point. And remember, every once in a while, turn the picture off, see if you like it. And also, you can zoom out to see if it's kind of going the way you want. So again, right now, you're seeing at least the start of the basic structure. In the next video I'll do, you'll see a little more of the structure.